Image retouching is the process of preparing an image for the final presentation. In this video, we'll explore how the retouch tools work to remove dust, scratches, or unsightly objects from an image that ruins a good composition. Before starting, it's a great idea to duplicate your image so you can retouch your photos non-destructively. You can access the Retouch Tool panel right here, or tap R on your keyboard. Here, you'll be presented with the four main retouch tools. The Heal and Repair tool uses an algorithm that automatically recognizes information like textures and lighting within an area. It samples the area around the brush, then blends and applies it to the area that's being brushed over. There are two methods. Patch allows you to heal areas by clicking on it. Use the size slider to adjust the size of your brush. Then move the cursor to the area you'd like to heal and click. Use the Show or Hide Layer function to compare the original and retouched image. Infill works the same, but allows you to click and drag along an area to repair it instead. Next, the Clone Stamp tool clones pixels from one area of the image to another. When selected, it will be in Source Mode by default. This allows you to click on a point to set as the sample source. Once a source is identified, the mode will automatically change to Paint. You can then brush the copied pixels onto a target area. The Brush Preview window shows brush appearance as you adjust the size, softness, and transparency. Adjust the size to match the area that you are brushing. A smaller brush is good for more precise outcomes, while a larger brush covers more area. The softness slider controls how soft or hard the edges of the brush will be. Drag right for softer edges that allow for better blending. And left for harder edges for a more defined result. Transparency controls the opacity of the brush. A low transparency creates a semi-transparent clone. A higher or full transparency creates a more solid clone. For best results, always experiment and vary brush size, softness, and transparency. Align controls the sampling behavior of the clone stamp. When disabled, the source point will remain around the original spot every time you paint. With Align enabled, the sample cursor follows the direction of the clone destination at a fixed distance. When cloning, you can quickly switch between the paint and source modes by pressing the Shift key. The Sharpen and Blur tool can be used to apply localized sharpening or blurring effects by brushing over an area. Brushing with the Blur mode will make subjects look softer. Adjust effect strength with the Strength slider. Try to keep the values low to maintain a more natural result. Brush over the areas you want to target while avoiding the areas that you want to keep intact. Sharpen enhances the definition of edges in an image. It makes images pop with more contrast. Use it in areas where you'd like to improve detail. Brush over the targeted areas to apply the effect. Keep in mind to not over sharpen. For better control, you can also brush an area multiple times with a low strength setting to subtly increase the sharpening effect. 
Make a habit to compare your results frequently so you can judge the strength of the effect. Finally, the Dodge and Burn tool allows for localized contrast adjustments by brushing over specific areas. Lighten brightens areas of an image. Choose from three different ranges to target either the shadows, midtones, or highlights. For this demonstration, we'll choose mid and slightly increase the strength. Brush over the areas here to apply subtle highlights. Finally, Darken darkens areas of an image. We'll set the range to Dark this time to target the shadows and make it more intense. Reduce the strength to keep the effect subtle. Dodging and burning helps in making a flat image pop, but try not to over dodge or over burn. And that concludes the retouch tool feature. Always remember to apply in small increments for better control to keep the image looking as natural as possible.